the Pub Nub Channel Presence is a brand new technology that has never before existed. And until today, you can now understand and ask the question, who is there? Who is on your PubNub channel? And I'm going to demonstrate that to you um, in a previous video, so go check that out later. Uh, but now I'm going to do a code walkthrough and tell you how to debug your presence event. So by chat.js, we're going to open up our chat uh, um, uh, code. Uh, the first thing you want to pay attention to is the channel that you're interested in. So it looks like here we've got a PubNub chat demo channel. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to show you something cool. I'm going to show you the new snazzy dev console 2.0. I'm going to paste my channel into the channel section. And then I'm going to wait a second and describe to you what happens when I click subscribe. When I click subscribe, I'm actually going to be joining a channel. And when I do that, I'm a, I'm a real user. I'm a real person. Um, although I'll be anonymous. So pay attention over here to this section, the people, and I'm going to click it. There it goes. Uh, it's trying to connect. It connected. All right. As you can see, just below Bill Gates, PubNub Anonymous is now online. It was offline before, and there are three people online. Uh, I got a presence event, and I was notified that I was connected to the channel. Check it out. Mm. All right. Now that you know how to use the Dev Console 2.0 with presence, we're going to actually go to the actual presence function. In order to do that, we have to search for subscribe. Subscribe. There it goes. Uh, here we go. Open a bidirectional socket connection. Ignore this. Uh, we'll talk about that on another day. The channel. We already know what the channel is. PubNub Chat Demo Channel. The connect. Okay, this. This is a callback that is executed the moment that I'm able to receive messages on PubNub. Um, the callback. The callback is the primary meat to PubNub. It is the function that you pass in is executed every time a message is sent or received. So check it out. I'm going to actually invoke it by sending a message and then pressing the button over here that says send. And as you can see, not only was the message chatted, but it comes up in our new snazzy dev console 2.0. Bill Gates, the body, time, 1.14 a.m. apparently, and the presence callback. The presence callback is the whole reason you're here right now. So let's check it out. What happens when the presence callback is executed? We get this nice function here that uh, I wrote. This function's called, and it passes in some details. What are the details? What's passed into this callback? But you can see it. You can already see it. We already know. It's this stuff. It's the action, the join, uh, time, UUID, which is anonymous UUID, and the occupancy number. Now, what can we do with that information? We can update an interface. We can update this interface. We know the number of people. We know who's online, and we know what occurred basically a nice little timeline in this case the here now function uh, is something that we're also going to check out next it also gives us presence information because sometimes you want to know who else is there or who's there immediately i want to know the entire list i want to know everyone who's there right now um let's find that function this will this will be a fun adventure i'm going to say here now and oh adventure over okay the channel and the callback is the presence function again so when this is invoked it's a little bit different let's go back to here i am searching to see the details if there is a uuids which would be a list of uuids exists in the details if that's the case it is very much likely that i have invoked the here now function and the here now function has given me a list of users who are currently online, and then I'll use that information to update my interface. So if I reload this page and join anonymously, you'll see here on the left, a chunk of users has joined. Um, well, you know, it lets me know that they're online at that very moment in time. So now that you understand what can happen with the here now function, the presence function, and how to use the new dev console, uh, you kind of understand presence. That was, that was, 
much less than I thought it was going to be. Okay, cool. Um, check the links at the bottom of the screen for the GitHub URL to this source code and this app. It's open source, MIT license. You can do whatever you want with it. All right. Uh, check out any follow-up videos, and I will see you there. Thank you.